I'm going to tell you guys the true meaning behind a psychic reading, which a lot of people don't know and don't understand. Now, I know in the Bible it says that what psychics do are a sin. Now, there's a difference. If you're doing witchcraft, if you're doing some kind of ritual, if you are conjuring up demons that you're not supposed to be involving yourself in, then yes, absolutely, what you are doing is wrong. But when your gift comes naturally and spirits actually come and talk to you to relate messages back and forth with their loved ones, or if they want you to solve something for them, then that's the reason why they're trapped on earth, to give them closure from both sides, them and their loved ones. That is okay. There's a huge difference that people need to understand. Okay? You guys need to understand that what I do and what a lot of people like me do has nothing to do with committing a sin. And I'm a Christian myself, and I understand a lot of Christians are kind of skeptics or kind of holding back. They want to do it, but they don't want to go against God and the Bible and what it teaches you. It is absolutely okay to feel that way. But I just want to clear the air. The, the spirits that come and talk to me, I don't conjure up. They come and talk to me naturally. Will I call out to them if I'm doing a specific reading on a specific individual for a loved one that's still on earth? Then yes, I will call them. But at the same time, I send them back to where they came from. I don't conjure up demons. I get rid of them. I close portals and I do cleansings. I do readings for a reason to give closure to the people on earth that lost a loved one that crossed over. To give them answers that they've been searching for. And the closure that they so much, so much deserve. Let me give you an example. I had somebody not too long ago that contacted me that was in complete loss of words of what to say, complete skeptic, scared to death about getting a reading, but wanted this one answer, one question answered specifically. Without even telling me, I brought it up, which was the second thing I brought up after the first thing during the reading. And the per this person, the way that they, they were shaking, and not out of fear, but out of happiness, like a whole weight lifted off their shoulders. Does it make sense? There's, this is the reason why I do what I do, because I love it. I enjoy giving people closure. I enjoy pe uh, crossing spirits over to where they're supposed to go to that are stuck on earth. I enjoy communicating with spirits to relate messages, to give them closure as well and send them on their way to where they're supposed to be at. And I enjoy answering all these questions that nobody's able to answer for them but me. I love that. It's awesome. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Now, the truth behind a psychic reading is the psychic is supposed to ask, um, you're supposed to ask the psychic questions and the psychic is supposed to answer all your questions. Now, whether you ask the questions or not directly, whether you have questions in your mind, the psychic will pick up on it um, because therefore you're connected to their energy. They're connected to your energy. And if you have a question with the loved one, the loved one is connected to the psychic energy, the psychic's energy, because the psychic is communicating with the loved one that crossed over and they want to get answers for the person sitting in front of them or over the phone because I do a lot of over the phone readings too. So, if you guys go to a psychic that is asking way too many questions instead of giving you the answers that you deserve, that you want, that you've been seeking for all this time, then you know they're, they're, <laughs> they're bullshit. <laughs> That's all I, they're bullshit and you don't want to trust them. But, again, the reason why psychics do this kind of work is not to scare people, not to dabble with the spiritual realm in a negative way. But people like me, and there's so many others that, I would say, I would say so many, there's some that I found that are actually real and really good around the world um, that are good friends of mine and very well known as well. But the reason why we do this kind of work is because it gives us the sense of happiness, the sense of closure ourselves 
that there goes another day that went by and we helped somebody. We helped an individual. We helped families. We helped kids. We even helped pets and animals. It is true. I am known to be one of those who turn skeptics into believers. And I love that. Just the look on their face, I can't stop laughing. It's a good feeling. It's a positive feeling. And that's why I do the things that I do. Now we connect, when we do readings, we connect with the spirit that has crossed over for the loved one that's with me or talking to me at the moment that wants to get messages. And I relate messages back and forth. Now if somebody's being haunted, that's a different story. I can't tell you all my secrets of how I do it, but just know that everything is connected with the spiritual realm through energy, through vibra vibrations and feelings and senses. And a lot of times physical spirit in front of me, I could see them and I can hear them just like I could see and hear people talking to me face to face. It's really easy for me to tune into the spiritual realm because I've had this gift and a lot of people have asked about me, so I'm going to tell you a little bit real quick. I've had this gift since I was seven, eight years old, seven years old, second grade. And I had somebody that I lost that was very close to me. And I end up seeing their spirit because it came to me. The reason why spirits come to people like me is because they can sense that we have the gift, the spiritual gift. So they'll come to somebody like me. Um, that has the gift to uh, communicate with us and to give messages or whatever their agenda or motivation or motive is. So therefore, um, this specific individual came to me right after. I didn't even know that this person had crossed over. And it was a tragic accident. And I knew the first night it happened because this person actually came to me. And I was scared. I was confused. I had so many mixed emotions like, what are you doing in my house? Who let you in? You know, kind of thing. I'm not going to go into details, but I remember falling asleep, crying my eyes out that night when that specific individual came to me in spirit because they died of a tragic accident and let me know before anybody else in school knew what what had happened to this person so ever since then um, me practicing my gifts and enhancing it more not through um, seances or rituals no I'm not a devil worshiper I'm against that um, I actually bring light to darkness I help spirits cross over and move on those who are stuck here I help give closure to spirits so they can move on and they're able to cross over to the light where they belong. Not all spirits stay with you when they cross over. That's something that um, Teresa Caputo and others similar to her that flaunt their way in and, and make it look like the spiritual realm is nothing but roses and fun and games and they're always in the light. You know, where does it stop? Somebody's guy told her. She didn't listen, so whatever. She could do what she wants, but I want you guys to know that the spiritual realm is not always fun and games, and the spirits don't stay with you all the time. You might feel their connection when they connect to you, or if something happens, they will visit, they will let you know. Not always, um, again, not always fun and games when they come. Because sometimes when the spirit is st stuck in a dark place and they visit you, it's not going to be pleasant. And that's something that needs to be pointed out. I am one of those people who will actually tell you the truth. Yes, this person is here. Yes, this person is good. Or no, this person is not good and it needs to go to the light. It's got unfinished business. That's where there's poltergeist activities. That's where you're hearing growls. 
That's why all the shit is going on in your house and around you. Yes, it's a loved one. No, it's not a loved one. I will tell you everything. You have an attachment. The reason you have an attachment and a haunting and a poltergeist activity going on is because you did this to trigger it and open the portals. Or somebody in your household did this. Or something happened. A major tragic event happened and this person is stuck on earth. I mean, there's so many different reasons why a spirit will haunt you and sometimes they'll haunt you in a good way and sometimes they'll haunt you in a bad way it just depends on the spirit and uh the amount of energy they have and the, and the agenda and their motive and why they're still around and you deserve to know everything your loved one crosses over and i hear bimbos on tv constantly talk about oh they're right there they're always with you no, they're not always with you. I can pull them through if they're not with you. I can communicate for them w for you and, you know, relate messages back and forth and give closure to you as well as the spirit. And then once I'm done, I send the spirit back. But spirits don't always stay with you. That's my point. That's one of the, um, the, the secrets behind a reading that a lot of people don't tell you. When they say, yes, there is a spirit and your loved one and so and so is with you okay really so did they see this did they see that you tell me in details you can test them out test them out and make sure they don't do cold reading they don't read your body language and know what you're going to say right after you know as you're speaking because it's obvious where the conversation is going so they'll try to cut you off and they'll, you know, they'll try, they'll try to finish your sentence for you. And you're like, oh my God, how the hell did you know what I was going to say? You really are a fucking psychic. No, you're not. It's only obvious the topic we're talking about, what we're talking about. And you already know what I'm going to say because you asked me a freaking question. Why are you asking me a question instead of me asking you questions? Does it make sense? So there is um, little things here and there that you need to figure out. Um, when you're getting a reading from somebody and if they start talking about the same thing over and over and over and over, you're like, okay, I got it already. Instead of going along with it. Yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. How did you know? Maybe because you guys have been talking about it for the last 10 fucking minutes. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm straight up. I'm true. That's why I love doing what I'm doing. Um, if I see someone fake and they're trying to rip somebody off and they're not giving the closure that they're supposed to give, I will speak out on it. That's just me. I'm sorry. That's just me. Because to me, when I do readings, I make sure that my clients understand the, the amount of energy that is used for, uh, from the spiritual side to connect to me and, and tell me all that stuff. Sometimes readings don't last that long with one spirit and other spirits come through, which are, you know, related to you and your loved one or somebody that you know. Or sometimes we have to take a break for a few minutes so they can recharge and, and, and be able to speak again. Because it takes a lot of energy for spirits to communicate with us. So it's not fun and games where you can just turn on and turn off and say, well, the spirit is there. You can, you can turn on and turn off, meaning open and close your doors to the spiritual realm anytime you want to connect to them, anytime you don't want to connect to them and you want to be left alone. That's possible, but I'm saying turn on and turn off, meaning you're sitting right in front of somebody like Teresa is, and then, you know, with every reading that she did, the spirit was right there. But if you notice, she continuously repeats herself, and she reads you, not mentally and spiritually, with your body language. She reads your body language. She asks more questions than answers them. And she will give answers that are so, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what she's going to say next. It's an answer to your question with her answering with a question. Pay attention to that. If a psychic asks, answers your question with a question, not once, not twice, but every single time you want to get an answer, you really don't get an answer. Think about that. You have somebody that crossed over and she says, hey, so you're here because of who do you want to connect with? Or the producers that interview her, 
before she arrives on the scene, she already knows. She can hear the conversation. They let her know. Hey, you got so-and-so that's trying to connect to her dad, to her mom, to her brother, to her sister, to a best friend, to a lover. And they give you the details. And that's why, if you notice, every single interview from her client, from the minute her client interviews to the minute they go into her home or she goes to them and they sit down, the first thing they mention is the first thing the client says during the interview before she starts the readings. Coincidence? I don't think so. There's no coincidence when it comes to the spiritual realm. And that's something that you guys need to worry, uh, uh, remember. There is no coincidence when it comes to the spiritual realm. They always have a motive. There's always an agenda. Whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's in between, it doesn't matter. And it's your job, your job to know who you can trust to give you an accurate reading no matter what. You want to get closure, pick somebody that you know will give you the closure and will give you more answers than leaving you with more questions. That's just me. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, that's the truth behind, behind psychic readings. It's not always fun and games, but you know what? We try. People like me that do it, we try to do the best we can to keep the positive environment, no matter how sad. It's always a sad feeling to lose somebody. But that's when we come in and we brighten up your day. And we give you good messages from good spirits that crossed over that are loved ones of yours. And we give you good so you can be left with the good memories. If there's anything bad, I don't leave out. If there's something that you need to know, I will tell you. So a good psychic will tell you the good and the bad, not just the good. Because some people sometimes in situations in life need to know both so they can be able to move on and know what their next step in life is going to be. Sometimes spirits, and, and for an example, they do cross over and then they come back and they give messages that you should know in the near future of what's going to happen. Because spirits know what's going to happen before you do. And so therefore, they're here to warn us, to let us know. And that way you know what to look forward for, forward to and what to be cautious about if there is anything. So again, the truth behind a psychic reading is to tell the truth, no matter if it's good, bad, in between. You ask the questions, we give you the answers, not the other way around. And to always leave you with a good feeling, knowing that your loved one is okay. They still think about you. They care about you. They're watching over you and they're making sure you're okay. You can always pray upon them. And during your prayer, you could call upon them and you could actually um, ask them questions or ask them to guide you. They will come into your dreams. They will subconscious without you knowing subconsciously, they will give you messages and help you answer those questions and actually help you through life if that's what they choose to do. We cannot personally make spirits do certain things. If they don't choose to do it, they can't and we'll let you know. But if they do, and a lot of times the good spirits, they're always, always ready to help. So just remember that your loved ones are watching over you. They're not always with you, but if you call upon them, they will come to you. They will come to you. And if you guys have a haunting, you guys want a reading, you guys have attachments, any questions, any mentoring, anything specific, anything that has to do with the paranormal, anything that has to do with spirits, period, in the spiritual realm, Contact me, Monica, spiritqueen at yahoo.com. Send me an email. I will get back to you. And good luck. God bless. Love you guys. And uh, if you guys need any, uh, any help, just let me know. Love you guys. Take care.